okay, this is it. I have finally found it, my favorite spot in Oregon, I do believe. This is the Oregon Olive Mill at Red Ridge Farms, and I'm with Penny Durant. She's the owner. It is beautiful here. Thank and you. And you have a beautiful recipe to show us okay. that obviously highlights the main ingredient. Right. This is our olive oil. This is uh, Red Ridge olive oil. This is the new Oleo Nouveau. It's the first press that just was pressed last Saturday. That's why it's a little cloudy. And what we're going to make today is a puttanesca uh, dipping sauce. And it's uh, great for just for individual dipping of bread, which we're going to do today. But it also is wonderful in pasta. And I, if you want to add a little chanterelle mushrooms to it, it's great. That sounds great. So you just double it about, add yeah, some just pasta, double and then you have dinner. Right. And it, these are not exact, precise recipes. As you use it, you end up you know, manipulating it a little bit. So, so should we go ahead and yeah, let's get started. Together? Okay, Robin, I'll just pour this in. You have a cup of olive oil. Okay, and then do you want to add that? And these are those are roasted, roasted bell peppers. peppers, and you can use other. You can use orange, red, green, but I because we're using parsley, I thought it'd be a good contrast here. You can add that. Okay. Capers. It looks like you've got. A couple of teaspoons there of capers. Yeah, yeah. and then do you want it, the Kalamata olives are about um, three quarters of a cup. Oh, there, okay. okay. And then this, this is uh, about four cloves of garlic, which I'm going to add, and it's been put through a press, so be careful with it. If you're not fond of garlic, you don't need to put it in, but it really gives it that extra zest. And then, do you want to just stir it oh, you're or gonna whisk it? you going to make me it? work. Okay. Whisk it. <laughs> uh, just whisk it up and then... Um, oh, it smells wonderful. Okay. All righty. And then we'll add a little parsley to it. A little fresh curly parsley. And I'm going to add a little bit of uh, salt, not much, just a little bit. And then also a few um, red peppers that are crushed, and that's just a sprinkling of those because a little goes a long way. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Give it a little kick. Okay. And that's it? And that's it. And then oh we just goodness. need to spoon it into, um, into this. And then did you toast your bread? The bread has been, uh, yes, it's been actually, it's been just uh, baked. It's the bread that you, you bake at 400 degrees for mm -hmm. about four minutes. And then it's just simply, a, and then you just, you know, and then just cut it in bite-sized pieces. And there's, there, there. And if you want to, just for a little extra color, you can put a little bit more on top. So that's beautiful that's and so simple. There. That'd and be very festive for the it, holidays yeah, as well. It is great, and it's really if you're going to serve it uh, at a you know sit-down dinner, it's sometimes nice to just have a little small ramekin for you know for each individual person. So okay, so um, that is our pasta. The puttanesca dipping sauce that right. you can also use as a pasta sauce. But you have another one here. Yeah, we're going to sure. clean up here for a second. Yeah, I'm going to put <laughs> these things over here. Okay, now we're going to show you a quick recipe that you can put together in a flash bruschetta. Okay. Bruschetta, um, if you will. Robin, <laughs> would you go ahead and just spread thickly on plenty okay. of olive oil on those plenty while I go oil. ahead and add these uh, ingredients to the tomatoes into the... Uh, and you just leave the skin on. on. Those and tomatoes. I do, I do. Okay. And that I makes add it the garlic, and then I add about a cup of, um, of uh, basil, and then mix, we'll, we'll mix it up. I think that's done. That looks done to me. Okay, enough. We'll take this off. Mm, and now we'll good. just go ahead and put this in here. Just serve it in a bowl. Right, you can serve it in a bowl. And what, but if you're using this, which is usually as an appetizer, you want to just actually have it on the bread. And oh, I see. So you're actually going to put it on there yourself. Yes, right. We can do. And then if you would like to take the the small spoon works better. And if you want to go ahead and do that, just just that's it. Now, then you add a little bit of salt to I the top? I just put a little bit of salt on top. And then if you want, you can put a little dollop of olive oil. You just put a little bit on, but not. it makes it kind of a challenge to eat. But this is... is 
<laughs> but it sure makes it look pretty. It looks good. And that was so simple. Both of these recipes are very, very simple and perfect for the holidays. They even look the part they with do, the red and they? the green. Yeah. Thank you so much, oh, Penny. Thank you, Robin. These recipes will be on our website, fusionnw.com. Oh,